Hello Linux friends. So for me it's um, finally the time to um, do a small review of an application that I really really like which is called Clasur. And as stated on the website Clasur wants you to re-enjoy writing with the language Markdown. And for those of you who don't know Markdown well probably you uh, wouldn't have found this um, review then anyway. But, like, you know, going on Wikipedia, um, it says Markdown is a lightweight markup language um, to format plain text with a, you know, certain formatting syntax. And, and it's often used to format readme files, um, to write messages in online discussion forums, and to create rich text using a plain text editor. Um, so Markdown is actually what I would say the simplest yet um, most comprehensive writing environment for people who are not interested in the technical side of things, but who just want to create content and export this content into the desired format. So um, moreover, the beauty of Clasur in my eyes is that first, it's an open source project. So the source code is hosted on GitHub and it provides very, very nice interfaces, very modern interfaces um, for, for example, Chromium, Chrome or Chromebook users. So I'm on Ubuntu 15.10 and Chromium and um, I added the Classer app from the Chrome web store and it provides me then with, you know, an app icon for my Unity launcher, which I will just open now. And um, and then I would just quickly show you how I usually use Cluster and why I think this app is really worth trying. So this is the interface. You know, it Cluster is just focused on content uh, and content creation. So you can create different sheets. So Cluster provides you with one default sheet, and then you, you know, you're free to create as many sheets as you like. For the purpose of this video, I created another one called Test, and inside Test, I created a folder called a Project Subfolder. And within within these folders, you then create um, files. So I created one already just to demonstrate, you know, how I usually use um, Cluster, which I call Project Description. I open it and as you can see the interface is very zen mode like it's it just focused on you know the content and the simplicity of writing uh, markdown content so at the top it provides you with some basic you know graphical elements for text formatting um, but if you're familiar with markdown language you can just you know start writing and what Clasur does for you is it very nicely emphasizes and highlights um, the respective Markdown formatting content. So I just wrote heading one, but you know, um, by using this this you know this um, sign in front of heading one um, hash actually, um, Clasur knows that this should be this this should become a, a heading one in the future, and so therefore it also like presents it as a heading one in the text you are writing. And the same goes, you know, for italic text, for bold text, uh, for code blocks, for quotes. So it just very subtly yet nicely helps you, you know, to, to um, get an overview on the formatting of your future text. So what I usually do is I write my text, I, you know, using Markdown language, I then go into the menu and export my content. Very classically, you know, Cluster provides you many different options to export it to blocks and, you know, to collaborate on the documents. I just use it personally to write my Markdown content in this environment, you know, to have all my Markdown content in one application and then export it into documents. Um, and as said before, Cluster is aimed at non-technical users because you don't have to mess around with, you know, the engines behind Cluster, you know, that I use, for example, for the co converting of files, which is Pandac. You don't have to worry about, you know, all this conversion because it happens on the server. Um, 
So you can choose your um, desired output format. It's EPUB, LaTeX, OpenOffice, PDF, rich text format, Word. I usually export to PDFs because I, you know, I do a lot of also like academic writing studies and, and, and papers and, and therefore um, PDF is a desired format. So I, you know, select uh, PDF, click on export, your document is being prepared and you're then offered um, with a download link, you know, you select where you want to save it. Suck, there we go. It's downloaded from the server side. And this is the final result, which I think is beautiful. Simple, yet just, you know, um, the way it should be. You don't have to mess around with any kind of formatting. Just focus on the content, um, click on export, and you're ready to go. So if you feel that, you know, Cluster could become your desired application, then just head to Cluster.io. Um, I think it's, you know, you have that, that free version. Um, which should basically be enough, I guess, um, for you know, for the beginning. Or you can, you know, there's also like a premium plan um, for people who need more um, features. But you know, the things I've shown now, just in this video, are totally um, workable with a pre plan, with a free plan. Yeah, I guess that's what I wanted to show um, in Cluster, and I hope you. You know, I will give it a try. Um, I'm, I'm just very convinced by the application, and I hope that it'll, it just will, you know, spread, um, gain, just in, in in use adoption, and and will be developed further so that we on Linux get to you know a really solid Markdown writing environment.